It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor?
So, how long have you known Mr. Finney? I have known Mr. Finney for over 40 years. He was a basketball coach at Osable when I played ball at Northeastern. He was a coach against me when I was in high school, and we got to know each other. I also knew him through college and right up through my teaching career. Um, so, how long has Mr. Finney been coming to this school? He started. He was. He just. Um, spent his 27th year in West Vermont. He came in one year after I got here. Um, we brought, we came in with uh, uh, records, and then Mr. Cove and I got together and said, "Hey, let's bring Gary in." And we brought Gary, we've been Gary ever since. So, um, so what what sort of an impact do you think uh, Mr. Finney has had on the school? I think he's he's done a he's done a great job with all the schools. He's done a great job with the uh, with the classes, with the teams. Um, he'll come in and he'll help. He'll offer his services and he'll talk. I mean, we've had right sitting with you and me right here. We've had countless um, discussions regarding basketball, regarding baseball, regarding soccer. Um, he's very. I mean, he was a he was known as the square dancing king to all the schools, but. I mean, he was a coach first, and he was very, very uh, knowledgeable about a lot of the sports going on. And he could sit down and draw X's and O's with the best of them. Um, he, and he was a good basketball player too. He had a, he had a great, great set shot. You know, old time, old time players. They perfected those shots. Uh, as far as an impact on school, I think he brought I think he brought the schools together, the whole community, the school body, the student body faculty, even some of the alumni for a while there, we were getting alumni coming in from college, they would be home on college break if it happened to be at the right time of the year. I know we had to switch ours over a little bit, but when it was happening like right before Christmas, some of the alumni would come in and, and square dance because they knew that Mr. Finney was in town. Um, and I think he brought that to a lot of the other schools too. Um, he also was very proud of the way Westport brought the older kids into the younger kids. He always used to talk to me about that. He said, you know, Westport's one of the few teams and schools that bring the seniors down to work with the kindergartners, bring the seniors down or the juniors to work with the first graders and partner up and you guys never seem to, to bother that. And he said, Westport is, is, you know, pretty great in that sense because he saw this happening and he really enjoyed the fact that the juniors and the upperclassmen would always be willing to come in and help them help the little kids square dancing and, and passing on what he loved to do. Um, he did it on weekends, he did it all the time. Um, when he, of course, when he got older, that's what he was doing. I mean, he he was in the schools 180 days out of the year. He was, he was leaving from our school to go to someplace else, and then from there to someplace else. He never had a break, he never took a break. He was, he was going to school and he was square dancing. The North Country has lost a wonderful guy, a wonderful gentleman, and a great individual, great, you know, ambassador to, to every school around. Yeah. Well, thank you very yeah. much. Right. Um, now, what do you wish you had said to him before he passed? Um, if he could do it next year. Great. It was great.